Hi guys, it's Aegis here, and today I'm here with uh, a Shaman King uh, the standard deck profile, and this time I'll be covering the uh, Faust uh, red line or the Faust build. So, uh, I seriously saying I didn't expect myself to actually do this profile first, or even I am touching this deck because when set one come out, I just pick a few ones that I do want to play. And have to say he isn't one of the uh, choice that I did pick. What I picked is uh, Yo, and then Horo Horo, and Ryu. That's basically it. Uh, because Ryu is probably the cheapest build, and after that will be this one, I think. Uh, when set one, of course. But after I actually get the cards before set two release, and because they're cheap, then I start building the deck and have to say the changes from set 1 to set 2 isn't too big but it's so much fun I didn't expect that to happen and I'm so happy that I did pick up the uh, pieces so I can actually build a deck so without further ado let's talk about uh, the right line first so the right line is still the set 1 uh, lineup because uh, the great free Faust is still a very good card to do uh, some early push and uh, some early setup while you also need him because the newer grave free requires to requires you to ride on top of a grave free files which he is the only option so um, with the right line great zero do nothing except the draw then great one you uh, Discard 5 cards from the top of the deck and find a uh, added stuff from your drop into your hand so that you can use her later. And then uh, the grade 2 is uh, doing similar things but requires you to kind of last one and then you can pick a uh, necromancy which is an order. And then when you go to grade 3, then you can uh, oversoul with one Elisa and then. You get a counter charge one, so the counter blast you use from grade 2, you can counter charge that back. And then you can uh, take one at least a normal unit from drop and call it to regard circle. So that can be a very good uh, supporting unit or maybe even your attacker because her wife, Elisa, is just so strong. And then he also got another active skill, which uh, is a counter blast one and retire free of your uh, bone tokens. Then you can, from your hand or drop, to call up to one giant calcium uh, or calcium giant. Uh, from yeah, hand or drop, call to regular circle. So it is a good beater, but there are builds in set one that doesn't use the uh, calcium giant anymore because they find <clears throat> probably using the bones as booster or using the bones for Elisa is a lot better. But in this build, I'm using a giant because I like to use a giant, and he just sometimes match the numbers that I need. So, yeah, that's why uh, using the calcium giant in the build, and the reason why we are using the referee is not only because he's still good, but he is needed in order to play the new card. And then going to the main deck, first we have two more uh, fouls for personal ride in case we didn't draw the new one and so that even uh, we don't have the new one we can still gain benefit from the personal writing we get the draw uh, or even when we have the new one we can still call him out as a uh, attacker so isn't too bad at all so yeah that's why he is here and then the new card the new uh, Mephist E Faust the eighth uh, so as I explained, he get a permanent skill that he can only be right on top of a Grave Free with uh, Faust the Eighth in the name. But he himself cannot just run on top of Grave Two from the right deck, so we need to use him in the main deck and use the old one in the right deck. And then he got another skill, active skill, Triangle Circle once per turn, uh, so plus two. By doing so, you can call a Elisa from your drop, call the Riga Circle during the turn, get plus. 15k and usually your Elisa are 8k so they will reach 23 yeah and then over so 
active skill once per turn. Uh, put one unit with uh, regard with Elisa in name to your soul. By doing that, you uh, for each Elisa card in your soul. This turn, this unit will get plus 10k. So, the more Elisa you have in your soul, you have more power for him. So he can be very big, but usually he is gaining around 10 to 20k, like constantly. But that's still good enough because if you can reach 33k, uh, then I think you can be good enough to threaten your opponent. And what I usually do with uh, Faust is I first oversoul with one of the uh, Elisa on the field to uh, actually pump his attack first which usually will pump to uh, 33k and then I will soul last two which involve one of the non Elisa card and then one Elisa card and then call the Elisa back up so that we uh, don't lose the field and we only kind of just soul blast one in total because the card on the field get put in her soul, get soul blasted and back to the field. So basically as a like start and end, she's still on the field. So you only soul blast it on. That's how uh, sometimes I count. <clears throat> and then I can just keep doing that unless I want uh, a lot more Elisa in my soul, then that's another story. And how you get the first one, basically you just over soul with the uh, set one. Uh, files then you can already get your first copy so when you ride on, ride on him you will have a second copy so it's a constant 20k if you want more you can stack more but to me it's enough and next uh, as I said I'm running the uh, calcium giant two of him uh, he can't be a normal call so uh, we, just, we can't just place him on the field uh, and then he basically is how you use him is using the old Faust so so that you can call him out uh, that is also one reason why people don't use him that much because uh, if you once you get in a new Faust you normally won't be able to use your calcium giant again normally and then uh, for each necromancy in your order zone you get plus 5k so the more necromancy you have, you stack a lot more, a lot more, and a lot more. And when your turn ends, you need to retard this unit. So, yeah. And this is also one reason I'm running more uh, of the set one files, so that even if sometimes I can go with a new one, but if I don't have enough Elisa yet, or I do want a little bit more setup while still having a like giant beast stick there, the calcium giant will help me out. Okay, so next, uh, running four of the uh, double rare files from set one, which what he does is basically kind of last one, uh, bring an Elisa from drop back to my field. That's basically the, his uses. I usually want this, like, won't put the top two cards of the deck to drop to gain the 2k, unless I really need to, but normally I don't. Normally I don't. And then I have uh, two real for uh, defenses. You can change him to something else, but I want some early protections. So uh, whenever my opponent is a grade three or higher vanguard, he can be a 15k shield. So sometimes that comes in handy and doesn't have to be on the field. Of course, you can just put him on the field as grade two to do some early rush as well. So uh, won't hurt just a generic card that to me, I think it's useful. And then let's start talking about the Elisas. First one, probably the most powerful one, is uh, this wife uh, Elisa, great one, double rare from set one. Uh, if you have a Faust, the A Vanguard, and it's in over, over so states, then uh -huh, this guy will give us 10k and one crit. So when you on the new one, the new one plus 15k and this was 10k which means that is a 33k base you know that can be scary <laughs> and uh, when this unit attack battle ends you can counter plus one and retire three of your bone tokens 
uh, then you can withstand this unit. So you can do four attacks in this deck, and she is a fairly 3k attacker when you're on the Neo Faust, and she is attacking two times. And your main Vanguard Faust, if you're riding a new one, and if you are like doing the constant thing as I do, the Vanguard will also be very 3k. So yeah, that can be really scary sometimes. Which is uh, the reason you need four, of course. And then I'm running four of the uh, starter uh, Elisa. So she doesn't do much. Uh, only when you boost a uh, Faust, the eighth unit, you will get uh, five feet plus. So even on a regard side, this pair can do 23, these pairs can do 26, uh, just helping you to hit a little bit key numbers, 10k shield is not enough, uh, but her main uses is for my first time to do oversoul, or just whenever I'm lacking at this time to do oversoul, or when I just need a booster, that will do. Yeah, because when we use the new Faust, of course the best is uh, this Elisa so that we can do multiple attacks because she also gained plus one crit while all the spirits don't have crits but you can still call her out to be uh, a 23k base booster while boosting a Faust plus extra 5k so that's still a decent number of boost a 28k boost and sometimes your opponent just don't get enough to guard because 28 right then plus 10 is still 38 so at least your reel can still be threatening as a line yeah so it's really uh, up to you how you adjust your uh, at least on the field and fulfill what you really need to do and then uh, four PGs because I got the new one so I'm using the new one but if you want to use the old one that's totally fine um, their effects is basically the same so yeah as long as you use the non-starter PG then I think you're good but if you don't have any you only have the starter PGs because your uh, booster PG went to other decks that's fine uh, so far I didn't went that tight on using PGs that really just dropping one PG and that's it usually I have a lot of hands or the attack is just too bad I drop the PG while I still have a lot of hands and then those cards can't help me so uh, if you really just want to build it on budget you can just get a starter so that you also get an over trigger and a whole set of triggers because you still need the heal Elisa for uh, the deck which we will see very soon and it's also from the starter so no matter what you still need to buy a starter and if you don't want to pay extra money for the PGs you can just use the starter PG that's really uh, not going to hurt you at all. And then, uh, for four of the Necromancy is uh, the order that your grade 2 uh, right line will have trying to pick up. Sometimes it doesn't appear, but the most ideal situation is you have two or three uh, Necromancy out so that you can uh, just generate enough bone tokens to. Uh, create a calcium giant or for your Elisa to reach that because you need three bone tokens the most ideal is you have three then you just need to use the skill ones because you need to bind three cards from the drop in order to uh, generate bone tokens equals to the total number of necromancy on your order zone so if you are free using it uh, remove three and just do it once and you get free but if you only have two then you need to do it two times so that means you need to uh, bind six cards from the drop and generate four tokens so that's a lot even though we do uh, ditch a lot of cards from deck to uh, drop zone but that doesn't mean we want to bind them all because when the game goes longer and when you run out of cards then you don't have the skill so uh, cost wise probably like you generate one generate two and then just use these three and then when you put another one just remove three so total of nine cards you generate six tokens usually that's the flow but 
if you are like taking your time uh, you are confident to have free then you just do uh, this skill when you have free so yeah it's up to you but there are times that you only have one to two then that will be a pain because when you need free tokens and you need to bind a total of nine cards you know just to generate free tokens that's really painful but that's the game sometimes that happens and we just need to live with it but uh, try your best find the most necromancy uh, as you can and uh, have fun with it and then uh, triggers now some people use the uh, generic over trigger but I still love the uh, order over trigger not only for the bot wipe but mainly for the extra sudden damage because if you just pull him out uh, you deal with one damage to your opponent first and maybe therefore they're trying to gamble for you not to have a crit but this is more than a crit because you confirm heating uh, you suddenly deal one more damage and this is close the game so uh, I like this more but if you do want the generic uh, over trigger feel free to do that uh, unfortunately I don't have the uh, charming version of that trigger I'm still trying to look for it because it's a promo and in Hong Kong I can't get my hands on at least for now but hopefully I can find some then maybe I can just try that out as well but usually a normal uh, starter generic over trigger still works so yeah and uh, you have another version of the uh, order over trigger same effect just different image different name from a starter so uh, it's quite easy to just pick it up pick in some new cards and you have a deck so yeah same as a PG you can just get things from the starter and then uh, for us the Elisa crit because we do want to keep constantly over over sewing so yeah we need a lot of Elisas and then the sewing crit because we do want to sew blast a lot uh, like constant sew blast too so more sews means uh, more guarantees to do that just basically it and then the uh, forefront because uh, it's Elisa and as a front you can just have a chance to let your vanguard to actually hit first uh, so your opponent is in the guard and even just a smaller column might just boost up with the front while other front units also gain the power to be a lot more threatening we are only doing 4 attacks so uh, we do need to try to maximize the power we can get and since uh, it is how we stand so a front trigger will just make her a, like two attacks a lot more scary so that's why we go with the front uh, overall purpose and more threatening power and for heals I'm using the Elisa heal of course uh, <coughs> again we do need to maximize our Elisa so you can see I actually even front I'm not using free I'm using four so the chances of not oversawing is really 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 close to not happening close to not happening that's all I can say so far I have not missed the oversoul at all so I am quite confident with this trigger lineup and with all the Elisa that I put in is enough yeah so uh, basically that's the list and uh, you can see uh, this is from set one uh, this is from starter, this is kind of starter or promo uh, This is set 1, this is starter uh, This is set 1, this is set 1 This can be uh, set 1 or starter <coughs> This is set 1, this is set 1, this is set 1 This is set 2, these are set 1 So, I have to say, there isn't much changes that you really need to use from set 2 that's why it's quite uh, budget to build while like set 1 is out for a while when people crack a lot they have a lot uh, more spares so these are cheap uh, and it's fun to play 
also a little note that uh, usually I do see some people from the set only needs to uh, use the uh, skeleton pad which helps you to also pick up the Elisa I was thinking about that after testing this but I think so far as I said since I just keep constantly oversawing every single turn and have no issue with it so I don't think there is a need for the little doggy but if you really want to use that doggy you can probably cut one uh, calcium giants or maybe cut in one of the starter Elisa if you really like really want to try that out like get one of her out that's fine because you only need like one to two of that pad and that's it yeah so that's it for this deck profile and feel free to ask me any questions if you have any uh, there's more uh, Charming King deck profiles coming in because I did build like seven to nine decks so that's a lot of decks that I can actually go through but I only tested some of those and I did record some fight videos I didn't check them out to see if they are good to show you guys so uh, do stay tuned for that uh, both my videos and their profiles and subscribe to the channel like this video comment down below uh, any thoughts any comments such things just let me know yeah uh, thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video signing off